Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to highlight a few minor changes to WordPress as they iterate towards WordPress 6.6 .6 coming, I don't know, like a month and a half or so, maybe a little bit more. Uh, and I wanted to show you some of the changes that I see that might have an impact on you. The ones I'm highlighting today are fairly minor, uh, but could have a, a, a different sort of feel to the way that you use WordPress or primarily how your customers or clients or people you support use WordPress. And uh, I just want to point you in the right direction. Things are changing. And I'm going to show you at the end of the video how you can get involved if you want to sort of share your feedback with the team as they develop and iterate and design new features. On my right, <laughs> on the right hand of the panel, uh, I have the latest and greatest WordPress. It's a nightly build, also running the Gutenberg plugin which is gonna give us all of the features, right? So what we're seeing here might not make it to WordPress 6.6, .6. maybe an iteration of it uh, may get scaled back, but this is latest and greatest nightly build with Gutenberg on the right-hand side and on my left-hand side, stock uh, WordPress as it is today, WordPress 6.5.1 or two, uh, fully updated on the left, both running the 2024 theme. So let's start with the biggest changes and that's going to be the post publishing workflow. Sounds big, but it's just like when you go to hit publish or schedule, these are some of the big changes that are happening. Let's go ahead and edit this post and we will edit this post. Close this, exit code editor. And this is not even needed, so we'll delete that block. Okay, so let's point your attention to compare the different metadata that now is sort of displayed on the latest and greatest build and on the stock vanilla build as it is today. So you can already see slight changes in the UI. Uh, things look a little bit different. The post icon, it's a quill icon for writing a post, I believe. Uh, and it has your post title, and now the set featured image button is here versus in the drop down where you might see it uh, below. And one would imagine, without me reading through all of the GitHub issues, that people are saying, hey, we really need to raise that to the top. It, it's an important thing. I know I've published posts without forgetting uh, or with forgetting the featured image. And now maybe because it's up here, there's a lot more priority to it. It's actually pr pretty high priority. It's the first like action you can do uh, in the post bar. And then add an excerpt is also tucked in here. Interesting sort of UI uh, example. If we look down here, the excerpt was right below featured image. Uh, now it's add an excerpt. I would actually kind of feel like it would just expand this area and I could start typing in, but it has a little uh, fly out window that comes up. Not bad, but again, it's sort of raising the priority of the excerpt. Featured image, excerpt, two things that you typically need to do as a, as a blog. Although I will fully admit, I never write excerpts, never. Uh, somebody in the audience tell me if I'm crazy, I just don't, uh, just let the, let my theme sort of just show the summary uh, and then stop uh, how many words it shows. Right after that, now we're gonna see 15 words, one minute read time, last edited nine hours ago. So some metadata there to kind of give you an idea of what's happening in a video that I posted last week or a couple weeks ago, I, I talked about some of the things I don't think anyone's using in WordPress. And that was sort of one of them. If we look on the vanilla side uh, of WordPress, we have the outline, which should still exist. It does. Uh, it just wasn't something that I was ever using. And they've kind of brought that a little bit more uh, in focus, right? So it gives you an idea of how much you've written and how long uh, that might take to read. Again, relevant information. Moving al along here, our status, and let's just pause for a second. So this this whole screen looks, or the screen, this whole section now looks a little bit different. Um, the UI is, is slightly tighter, but instead of visibility, now it's called status. And when we expand that, this is where things really change. So if we look here on the left-hand side, which is stock WordPress, we have public, private, and uh, password protected. This one is already published, so there is no um, scheduled button because it's already published. But if we look on the right-hand side, now we have draft, pending, private, scheduled, and then published, and then password protected sort of sits on its own little island below all of those options. Um, and if you were to you know, set these, you see the side 
the right hand side change just ever so slightly, uh, especially when it's private, you don't, you don't get that. So when we schedule it, now we can go and pick a time. Now hold that thought because they are really working on how the scheduled workflow is gonna be modified and I'll show you that in a moment. But this is interesting. It's just interesting how they're changing this up from visibility now to status and visibility. So these are just minor things you might wanna keep you know, your team, yourself, updated with, you know, as we move along. Uh, one of the other changes, big changes that are happening is the template. And if we select template, you can see we can edit the template directly, the template that's loaded here. We can swap the template, create a new template or show template. Um, and show template just brings that template into focus so that we can see it. Vanilla WordPress, we go back, we have edit template, swap template, create new template and template preview. So Words are changing ever so slightly. We're all getting to um, you know, this, the same point, uh, one would imagine. Another slight adjustment, we have URL in WordPress as we know it today, uh, and we have link in an upcoming uh, WordPress. So, you know, again, slightly changing the terminology, but changing nonetheless. And then if we go down to uh, stick to the top of the blog, that's still the same, stick to the top of the blog. Author dropdowns are the same. Categories and tags so far still uh, the same on how we see that. It's just the bigger differences now is that featured image and excerpt are potentially moving up to the top uh, as we see it on the right-hand side. Let's go ahead and take a look at the appearance and editor. Okay, now we're at the site editor. Let's take a look at a few differences that are changing uh, from future WordPress and current WordPress, starting with the styles. So if we go into styles, both running the 2024 theme, now we have uh, this you know standard set of styles that we already see on the left-hand side, although one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, we only have seven styles. Which one are we missing here? This one, Onyx. Onyx has left the building. <laughs> I don't know if that's, uh, I don't know if that is intentional to remove a style. That's interesting if that's, if that's the case, but Onyx was allegedly removed uh, in nightly version of uh, WordPress. But now we have this colors section where we can just change the colors right here uh, on the you know, global styles page. Uh, it's not quite the style book. Uh, it's not editing styles, but it's this you know, first styles page that we're at, along with typography. We can play with this stuff before we go into editing it. And this would be probably just a quick way for somebody to click around and say, you know what? Yes, this is this is the design I want. Oh, I want to change the typography on this without having to go into the editor, which isn't a huge feat, although I guess one could argue it is <laughs> uh, once you start playing around with it. But those are the big differences. That's the big difference that's happening here. These things um, are being presented in the style section. And if we go into the styles, I think the only thing that I've noticed here is we'll have a background image uh, that we can assign globally, uh, whereas we don't have that in uh, standard WordPress today. If we browse the styles, go back, browse the styles. Yeah, it's the same same setup of styles. It zooms out and you can kind of see that. Although I feel like I'm zooming out a little bit more in stock WordPress versus uh, the nightly build. All right, let's go back to uh, this section here. And we'll go to pages. Pages looks slightly different where now we have this sort of new uh, upcoming admin UI refresh. So the pages sort of admin UI looks a little bit different. When we go into the pages in stock WordPress, we're just seeing them here in the left-hand side. And when we go into the nightly build of WordPress, we have all, we, we have the categories of, of, or the different statuses of a page, right? All pages, drafts, uh, pages in the trash, etc. cetera. Whereas here, it's just, here's all your pages. Um, and then you, you can further admin them um, right here in this secondary pane uh, in the manage pages section. So that's the big change that's coming for the site editor. We'll go to templates. Uh, this is an interesting sort of way to navigate. So now when we click into all templates, currently we're just in the templates here. We, we would select our template to go directly into editing that. So if we clicked on blog home, it would give us this information here that we needed uh, in blog home 
is, or all templates now are just loaded right on uh, the sort of zoomed out view. You see all your templates with all your design styles applied to them, and then you can go in and punch in to do different things uh, with all of those templates, okay? So that is, you know, I like this change. This is obviously progressing in the, in the right direction. If you have many people making many different themes, you know, searching, filtering, all that fun stuff on a big site uh, is going to be very, very useful. Let's go to patterns. Okay, and the next part, we'll head on over to patterns, patterns. And the big difference here is when we go into our patterns, uh, relatively look and feel is the same, except now we'll have this bulk edit where we can select all and move to trash or do different admin things um, that we can't do with the core theme, uh, with the core patterns, because I don't think you can, yeah, you can still trash all these. Let's see what happens when we trash these. You can delete that. Is it actually going to trash those? About, I don't think it's going to trash those. How could it? It's the it's the core. Let's save that view site. Now we still have all our patterns, uh, so it's not going to trash those patterns. But um, you'll be able to do bulk edit and trash patterns that that you've created and not the ones that are locked um, by the theme. Okay, so just a handful of changes that are happening uh, to WordPress as they iterate recording this on the very last day of May 2024. So I suspect that some most of this stuff will will go in, but maybe there'll be you know a small sliver of it that doesn't happen uh, because of crunch time. And speaking of, if we take a look at uh, in the WordPress Gutenberg GitHub repo, you can see the active development happening now and active discussion happening on improving the flow of you know, pages and post statuses. And some of the stuff I showed you at the top of the video of the status, publishing, scheduling, they're talking about all of that stuff right now. And you can see real time in the different behaviors that'll happen when a user selects this stuff. They're having an active discussion right now. So if there's stuff that is very interesting to you or you have a point of view that you feel uh, very strongly about, you should share, you can jump in here and actually have that discussion right here with the core devs that are working on this particular component of WordPress. Or if you just want to read through it and see how they go back and forth, how they share ideas, how they sort of tag one another and, and bring in other um, experience or expertise from other developers and other designers to have a, a well-rounded discussion about these changes. You know, I like to say that don't wait for it to, don't wait to complain, you know, at the end. I mean, at the end of the day, you still might complain about the changes that are, that are happening. You might not like a, a change, different words, different uh, UI comes into play. I don't think anybody really likes change, especially when you're super familiar with a piece of software. But here's your chance to get up to speed on it. That's why I'm creating this video today. You can kind of see it happening in real time. You can be prepared for the different changes, uh, but also you know where to go if you want to chime in and talk directly to the devs or at least just read up on how that this particular decision is getting made. That's it for today's video. Thumbs up if you like today's video. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. If you want your weekly dose of WordPress news, head on over to thewpminute.com slash subscribe. Join the newsletter. It's the number one way to stay connected. Till then, we'll see you next time in the next video.